I don't know what this region means to others. It is my birthplace, though now ringed with flames. A little land, my long lost childhood's world. I grew up from this tree trunk, a frail twig. My corpse, I hope, will rest beneath this soil. Here I'm at home. The bowed shrub at my feet. I recognize the flower and know its name. I know the road and those who come and go. I know too what the summer sunset means, with reddening pain poured out from sweating walls. This region for the airmen is just a map. He does not know here Veroshma they lived. For him it's factories, barracks. But for me, it's crickets, oxen, church towers, gentle farmsteads. He, through his sights, sees chimneys, ploughed up fields. I see the workmen trembling for their toil. Woods, birds in orchards, vineyards and graves by one of which a grandam noiseless weeps. From what up there's a target, rail or works, down here's the dwelling of the signalman. We see him standing here in front of it, the red flag in his hand, around him children, a sheepdog in the workyards frolicking. Nearby is a park with footprints of past loves and kisses honey sweet or bilberry sour. The years I went to school, I often stepped for luck on one stone in the sidewalk's edge when fearing classroom tests. Here is the stone. From far above, it cannot well be seen. No instrument is able to detect it. Like other nations, we have greatly sinned. We know our sins, know when and how we sinned. But innocent are poets, laborers and babies, whose intelligence must shine, hidden away, protected in dark cellars, till peace once more, its sign writes on our land. Then they, with fresh and open speech, will answer our stifled words. But shield us until then with your huge wings, O watching clouds of night.